Hello everyone and welcome back and we're back with um, Grim Fandango so I think the good thing is I'll just get my thing working again there we go um, what was I gonna say oh yeah good thing is I've got my audio sorted out now it all seems to be working fine I think I've done a lot to get rid of a lot of the echo that was in this room um, and I'm just glad to be back recording because it's no fun fiddling around with programs, it's more fun doing this part where you get to actually get to play. And I get to communicate with you guys, so that's part of the most, I think that's probably the most fun. So I think last time I went over to this little desk over here and there were memoirs. But don't think there's anything there now. Oh, that's that gold bottle. What was this? Uh, Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. That's right. So that that was what we got. We got a little mem memo from um, Salvador. So that's what we got. So I think we're back into this. I think we're going to try and figure out where we're going. So I think I I. I do want to go back down to um, the casino and have a talk to that guy who gave me the, the card. So let's go have another look, talk to him. Uh, it's lovely hearing you play, Gladys. Let's not walk everywhere. Ah, I see, so there's a few people in here. This is the guy I got nothing to say to him. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. I've got nothing. I could probably do it and toss him pretty far, too. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Uh, so a ticket printer? Um, let's see. There's not much actually at the moment. I've got a ticket printer, a bottle, a memo, and a thing. Oh well. Let's go talk to Glottis again. I was hoping I could talk to him again, but it looks like I can't. Alright. I just had a run in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Sounds good. I know it. Right. Later. Out. It. Can't really say anything else to him. Hmm. Let's have a lot of Evening, about. Lupe. Lupe has Hi, it. Hi, Manny. Uh, okay, back to work. Okay. That was creepy. Hey, you lazy bees. Get off your abdomens and get to work. I think that's the way I came in. I wonder what's actually up here across the bridge. Can you go that way? No. Oh well. Looks like you can't go over that way either. Oh, anyway. Hmm. 
Man, I forgot how big this city was. I can so tell I'm gonna get lost. Oops. One problem with the camera in this game. So, so a little look down here. Oh. oh yeah, I think this is where I got actually got washed up, so. Okay. Know what I expected? It's the ladder I came in on. Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Hola, Toro. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranja here. Hmm. I told you, Calavera. It's empty. Yeah, I got to remember to get more liquid nitrogen from Morg. Liquid nitrogen? Freeze the bones. Less painful that way. Hey, that sounds good. I could go for that. You've got plenty of painkiller in that bottle of yours, so shut up and hold still. <laughs> Anything else in here? No, that looks like it. A little interesting city. Alright. Wonder. Well, maybe just a sip. Well, it's good to have a sip. Oh, well, I got a trophy for that. That looks like that wasn't the way I wanted to. Is that me? I'm disgusting. Ooh, are these the bees I was talking about? Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers. All laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Uh. Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, man. It was straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution uh, makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's... Man, everything in this place is crooked. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat. 
if you get my drift. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Poor little bee. That makes me want to go to the cat track again. Someday I can get back there. I actually think it might have been this way. So... Anywhere else we can go over here? Hmm, maybe... This way? Nope, that just took me around there again. Where does this take me? It takes me up there again. Maybe this time I should go forward instead of up. So I'm pretty sure that's where the morgue is under here, so I'll go around here again. Oh, yeah. Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. That doesn't help me out much. That's a good shot of the blimp. Ah, I found the cat place. Yeah, I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely We're not going near to either one today. Oh, okay. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. Oh. Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to this. I love all the little light points. Is there anything back here? No, it doesn't look like it. It's a big open room. But this door's open, so let's go in here. Fuchi, that smell is peor que la muerte. Is that like a huge kitty litter tray? Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Ugh. Huh. I could open it with my teeth, but I'm not that hungry. Maybe I'll be able to use like my scythe. I don't want to mess up my blade. Ah. I don't want to mess up my blade. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Put that away. No. Get out of there. Okay, this door's locked. Sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. <laughs> Adieu. Oh, well. Let's go back up here. Ah, it's, um, what's her face again? So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Are you sure I can't just... Don't touch. Mm -hmm. 
Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. That's disappointing. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Hmm. Well, that didn't seem to help much. Well, I've got a few ideas now. I think I gotta get it in the VIP pass somehow. Realized. Got a ticket printer. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. I just make myself a ticket. I'm gonna try and get back in that high roller club. So is this way? Yeah. You again? I was just about to say the same thing. So in I don't really wanna do that. So can I examine it? Yeah. It's a betting stub for, let's see, Friday. Week one, race two. Okay. Please keep off the track. Ugh. It's a betting stub for, let's see, week one, race two. I don't, I don't, ugh. No, that doesn't seem to work. Oh, there's some more down here. Oh, didn't realize there's a door there. Ah, I'm starting to like connect some of the dots. Let's just go into the blue casket. Hey, these guys all look like them. Um... Hi, what's your name? Hey, can I borrow this book? Why? So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, all right? No dice, Cumberbund. <laughs> Cumberbund. Um, I don't know why. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was good. Huh. Hey, did I ever tell you Salvador? We hit. Would you catch mine if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Ah, so I got the book now. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one: The workers shall control the means. Ooh, better not show. I might be able to give this to the bees. Where are the bees? The bees were like down this way. No, 
bees were this way. Problem with it, problem with having a city with a circle in the middle. You always go the wrong way. I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here. That does it. You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Who's that? Hmm. Not sure. Why well, not? I did something. That's good. Let's go back up to the... No, go in. Thank you. So now we're out. Let's go back up here again. Because I'm pretty sure that um, guy was from the High Rollers Club. Maybe he'd be able to help me get in. I've got nothing. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. I don't really want to do that. Oh, it's not. I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. I'm keeping this little gold Mesdames mine to myself. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. All right, that seems to be it there. Okay. Wonder what. Plus would say to the I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. I don't really want to do that. Hmm. And back out we go again. Man, I've really got like a back alley, don't I? Jogging along. I 
Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Just a hunch. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Hey. Rules are rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love mm, prunes? Dates. They have such a great <laughs> texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. Hedwig, now that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? No way. Oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry in town was <laughs> figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you look. I looked. think you were just at the part about your metal detector. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Actually, I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Calamar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. It's not really bad for doing that. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. I think I'm in the bad books now. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! Uh, I feel terrible. But I think from the looks of things, it looked like it landed near the cans where the kitty leader was. Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. I could open it with my... Huh. I could open wet foods for winners. I don't want to mess up my blood. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up my blood. I don't want to mess up wet foods for winners. Oh. Uh. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. Yeah. I don't want to mess up my blade. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my. Actually, maybe I like hook it out with the scythe so that way. Aha! Oh, I found it. Little stinky, but it could be worse. So I now have the metal detector. Next beach I see, I'm finding me a watch. Alright, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but.
Yeah, that's such a long run. No, 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 no. Oh. Now to go back up again. Talk to Lola. Evening, Lupe. Oh, yeah. Hi, Manny. Okay. Okay. She has a bit of a fruitcake. Yeah, I might just go down here for one more little check. You know. Some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night, so... Not while they're losing. I've got nothing. The can opener wouldn't work there. I'm I'm this little gold mine to myself. Deeply. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, well. please place your pets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien n'a pas plus. Mm -hmm. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. See what happens here. Le jeu, noir, Perry Monk. Number two, two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. Oh dear, he's got so many this chips. This must be my lucky day. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. Hmm. I have a feeling I might leave it here, because I didn't, this episode's already been going for around, I guess, half an hour already. So... I think this might be a nice little spot to finish it. We, we've done a little bit. I mean, I got a metal detector, I got a can opener. Might just finish it down here. With, um, Lupe, I think it was. Is it Lupe? Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. It's a betting stub for Monday, week one, race twelve. Still don't understand that. Wait, oh yeah. Anyway, um, I guess we'll end it here. This is a nice little spot. We've done a little bit. I mean, I got the B probably. What was that? Anyway. I got the um the bees revolutionized. I might go to the police officer's thing next time. So it might be a nice little spot to go. But I think this probably is enough here for the time being. I'll probably leave it here. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see more of this series as it 
keeps going. So, but I guess until next time, see ya. It's Miss Columba, the Domino. Run, Manny, run. Bye.